learner progress for teachers. This actually provides a consolidated view of the overall learning progress of the students, of which the marks of all the teacher assigned questions that are tagged to topics and subtopics will be chosen from the content map that are linked to the learning progress. So what it means is this is the like a donut. So in this case, all the assignment that has been given to the students that are linked to this content map will be shown as 72 marks, of which 50 is included and tagged to the content map. Okay, so this is how you read this uh, display. So you need to take note that this is the like the marks coverage of all the assignment that has been given to this particular class that are both tagged. If it's tagged, it will be blue. If it's not tagged, it will be uh, the gray color uh, in this current syllabus. Okay, and the content map will then be viewed over here. Let me just go through uh, this. What does this do? This search for subject is for for ease of. Let's say I, I want to include certain things from the MOE library or maybe community gallery. Then you can come here and then you will surface those resources for you to add quickly and farm it out as an assignment because only assignments are, are seen here in the learning progress. So if I did not say this in earlier videos, you can come to learning progress via this three dot menu and then the subject. So this interface here, uh, let's go through chronologically. Uh, so this is to view the excluded question. What it means is when you click on this excluded question, these are questions that shows you that there are certain assignments that have certain questions that are excluded. That means they, they are not included in this, uh, in this display. So if you want to include it, then you need to come here, then click on, let's say, view questions. And then you can see that uh, there are all these questions that can be included to the learning progress. Okay, But even if you add it to the learning progress, you need to make sure that it is tagged to um, one particular LO or one very small LO and, and not tagged to many. The reason for this is it will actually mess up the computation for the uh, donuts and even at the bottom even at the bottom it, it will double count so uh, you will see that uh, typically the advice is to only uh, look at tag to one particular learning objective so what I mean is let's say that this uh, that this particular learning objective you will notice that there's one question and if I view at this particular tech resource, there is only uh, there's one question. But this question, let me just click on the details to show you what I mean. Okay, so uh, when you come here, you need to come to edit. Okay, agree to okay it. Then you will see that in this either this three dot or this uh, gear, you must make sure that this particular tag is only tag to one. Because if I tag to, let's say I tag to another one, okay, uh, if you remember, if, okay, now let's say I tag to another one, so now there are two, which is the, not the best practice, uh, even though it's uh, typically uh, possible to do, you will notice that in my content map, uh, previously the number was or something, and then now the number has increased, okay, so that is why uh, we need to tag to only one. So if you remember now, uh, this is 73, this is 51. Mm -hmm. And if I go back to this particular uh, quiz, let me try to edit it again. Okay, go to the three dot. So uh, let's assume, ah, so this, this is the question that has two tags. If I take away one of the tags, okay, which is the, the, the recommended proper usage like because Assuming that one question can be tagged to only one subtopic uh, in the topic content map. So I add, okay. Then you now see that the display, which is previously uh, 57, uh, 73 and 51. If I refresh the screen, you will see that there's a, uh, a change. So if you want this to represent 
uh, one for one matching uh, of the content map to one particular uh, mark assuming you give one mark to every question uh, Oh, because if you give three mark, then here will also become plus two la, because of the one plus one plus one. So you need to be very careful when you assign marks. My recommended uh, usage case is you assign only, give only one mark and only tag to one uh, learning objectives.